Hello friends. Today I want to explain the term predicate for you. And firstly, firstly, and predicate uh, is a term that might be asked in the examination. It's a very important term for you in the exam. Please be careful about it. And what's predicate? And predicate is the conjugated verb in a sentence. I mean, the tensed verb in a sentence. When you form, when you use a sentence with the simple present, present perfect, or future, no problem. We call them the predicates in a sentence. We call them predicates in a sentence. And <clears throat> there are some other terms that are related to predicates. Uh, what are they? The first one is, the first one is, predicative adjective, the second one is a predicate nominative, and the third one is predicate adverbial or predicative adverbial, no problem, and the last one is predicative close. Just begin with, uh, with, with, with predicative adjective. What is predicative adjective? When you use an adjective alone after a to be verb in a sentence, we call it a predicative adjective. For example, she is shy. In this situation, when you use shy alone in a sentence after to be verb, we call it a predicative adjective. The second one is predicate nominative. What is predicate nominative? In this situation, after to be verb, you need a noun phrase. Uh, for example, she is a student. A student is a noun phrase here, and this is predicate nominative. Also, she is a shy student. Again, a shy student is a noun phrase. This is what we call predicate nominative. And number three is a predicative adverbial. What's an adverbial? It means that and after to be verbs, you use a propositional phrase in a sentence. And why? Because propositional phrases um, function as an adverb in a sentence. She is in the classroom. When you use in the classroom, it's the answer of the question of where. In this situation, is an adverb. And we call it predicate adverbial. The last one is predicative or predicative a close. What's a predicative close? It means that in this situation, you use a close after a to be work to complete the sentence. And my aim is that I am appointed as an English teacher next year or I will be appointed as an English teacher. In this sentence, after that, you need you have the clause here. This is what we call the predicative clause. At the same time, at the same time, it completes the to be word. So you can call it uh, as a complementary clause.